cannot win. The Procedus dies! His blood is on your hands! His blood and every one of your friends! Are you mad? We can still stop! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Cassandra! But I will stop you! My name is Nemoth! Continue. One of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mata. Finally reunited. Only to lose each other again! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandon you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it. No one told you that I tried to save you? I ran to catch you. I killed an elder. That ended my life too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could, and I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. Listen, after you and the Elder fell, they threw me off Mount Aigetos too. Pater, let me go. It was his duty. You were abandoned, too. Yes. But we both survived. Against their wishes. We did. We're alive. Maybe it serves them right. The Themos. We've been searching for you. And you are here. 
in the gutter. I heard shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action today, girl. I am not your puppet. And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. <clears throat> Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Then you'll do things differently than Pericles? Friends flank my every side. The people trust in me. They know my every decree and law will be to their benefit. And they will delight in what I have planned. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. I thought politics was a game to you, remember? It is. And I play to win. Fuck you, Cleo. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You help me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your sister now. A pity. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. His equipment for Navas. Come, for Navas. Alexius, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses.
You made it. Of course I did. Varnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <laughs> 